In this video, we are checking out Isotope's Focal Synth 2, which is an incredible focal modeling effect. And yes, with free special presets coming up. Hey, what's up? Falcon here with another episode of Falcon TV, bringing you the best tools and tips for building your influence and knowledge in the music biz. Okay, so let's head over to Focal Synth 2. I've already put Focal Sin 2 in my mix bus. Okay, with Focal Sin 2, we have like five different individual modules. The BioFox, this one is new. This is a new effect which models the human focal. All these modules have like their own viewer. I will turn them all on by now. It looks kind of complex, which actually it isn't. If you're also familiar with uh, Isotopes series like the Neutron, they have like the same uh, interface, then you should be familiar with it. Let's head over to the left side where it says pitch. Focal Sync 2 has like AutoTune integrated in it. So that's really cool. There's like an AutoTune in it. For this tutorial, we are not going to use it, but it works like a normal AutoTune. You can put it in major, minor and the key that you're in. So we'll turn this off. Then this is like really cool stuff we see over here. This is like a visual mixer. So what it does is if I turn the fader here down, it will also go away in the mixer. But we can also do it uh, in the visual mixer as well. So it depends on what you would like to work with. This is to blend everything nice with each other to get like the full focal that you are looking for. We can also switch from the meter to the X and the Y. Then at the right side, there's like a mix knob. It's affecting the wall plugin. So it's uh, really nice to blend it in. Sometimes you want the full strong effect uh, because you're looking for some kind of sound of color. Then we have like a gate. There's like a pan also, this affects the wall sound and the width. At the bottom they have put like seven effects in it. So you can also play with these. These sounds like really cool. And also what a lot of people are looking for is this one. It, it, it is the MIDI mode. It's standard at the auto mode and then you have to put it on MIDI. Okay, once it's set to MIDI, it's not fully done with FL Studio because you have to go over to the settings and set the input at one. We need to create a new channel. And this is like a progressive track of mine, which I've uh, edited just for the sake of this tutorial. You have to go to the channels and add a new MIDI channel. Set this one as well to one because we have set the focal synth to one as well and the channel as uh, to one. And now the focal synth is triggered by this MIDI out. What I've done is I've copied these notes. Let's put these here as well and you can play with it. Okay, so now the focal, let's turn it first off. See how it sounds. This is just like a main focal without uh, too much things going on, just focal delay and some compression. While I go, things were too simple. Well, sounds cool. Now we put the focal center. on. Uh, we set the, the mix knob at 100, but so you can hear, I will mute the pad itself and turn the MIDI uh, channel on. So let's hear it how it sounds now. While I go, things were too simple. No worries about our future or past. Well, that sounds really cool, doesn't it? But now it sounds like really strong. And if you want to blend it nicely in, you need to play with the mix knob. While I go, things were too simple. No worries about our future. So this is really cool. Okay, and also let's check out these presets. We have this, it says like, uh, there are like a lot of uh, creative presets. You need to play with all of them. Um, it says MIDI mode presets. Well, let's check these out. Classic. While I go, things were too simple. No worries about our future or past. No worries if my girlfriend thinks right. But as you can hear, there are like a lot of cool presets. So the next thing I will show you is I have like three special presets I'm using mostly one of them is ian kirkpatrick is the producer of new rules of dua lipa and he has like a collaboration with spice while promoting isotopes focus in two so i have remade the preset so shout out to ian kirkpatrick and it's the official one of uh, new rules so uh, i will put a, a download link in the description below so you can download it well let's uh, take a listen how it sounds with uh, our sound while i go things were too simple no worries about our future or past Now we realize there's not enough time Sounds really beautiful actually. It sounds really poppy as well. Then there's another preset I will show you. It's from Sean Devine which is an incredible mixer and 
producer he has some amazing tutorials also check him out at youtube at sean divine so shout out to him as well he has a preset in one of his tutorials i remade it and let's have a listen i like go things were too simple no worries about a future or past Okay, this one is like really perfect with this focal. It's, it sounds like dark and mysterious. I like this one, maybe I will use it even. Okay, and at last we have like my own Falcon Subtil Harmonics. This will create like the harmonics you may need for your song. Why is that? Because I have turned the, the voicing on and play with it. Uh, it's like really subtil, but that is what I was aiming for with this preset. Uh, well, uh, let's have a listen. I will put it at 100. Oh my God, things were too simple. No worries about our future or past Now we realize there's not enough time To make things right Okay, I'm taking right. my words back because this one is actually perfect I will put a download link in the description below for uh, three of these Well, it's, it, it's looking complex but it's an amazing plugin and it's not so hard You can create like amazing vocals with it Which is actually the final detail you may need for your song so you can also, uh, if you want to be creative, put it on leads and synth and stuff. So uh, break the rules. Also, if you are looking for vocals, I just covered a whole video about it. So if you want to check that video out, I'll link it up in the YouTube card and also put a link in the description below. So the question of today, what is your favorite plugin for vocals? Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. See you tomorrow.